Hey guys, Q here, and this is going to be a quick video on how to maximize your points during phase one of Tournament of Kingdoms resource phase. <clears throat> now, if you look at the chart at the top left here, uh, you can see that each of the four resources, although for each 10, uh, 10 resources gives you a different amount of points, when you do the math, they end up giving you the same amount of points per hour based on the base collection rate. So you can see at base collection rate, each resource gives 5,400 per hour where gems give 7,200 per hour. So the difference we're going to be looking at is the difference between resources and gems. Now, during phase one of the Tournament of Kingdoms, you can see uh, that it's a lot easier to increase your collection speed for resources than it is for gems. Although there's some new Lord skills that really make the gems uh, can actually kind of get a good advantage on that. Uh, resources are probably going to be your best mine during the phase. You can see that even with just simply popping a resource spell, it brings your points per hour up to 8100 above the base uh, gems 7200. Plus you got of course research tech, alliance territory, resource spell, magic, t uh, magic tower, magic heroes, and of course lord skills. Um, so uh, during the phase, you're going to want to mine resources and keep your buffs as high as possible for that to maximize your points. Now for priming, uh, priming is the idea where you start mining a tile before the phase actually starts, but mine it in a way so that it finishes after <clears throat> the phase starts. This is a great way uh, to get a lot of points, especially if you time it well with a point card uh, after the phase starts. So if you look at the collections, uh, although the, if you look at the, um, the resources, uh, level seven resource tiles will give, uh, 39,600 points for a resource tile, but 312,000 for a gem tile. Why? Cause it takes so much longer. Uh, so priming tiles, you're going to want to prime a gem tile, um, if you had base stats, you would prime a gem tile, a level 7 gem tile, 43.33 hours before the event. You'd send out your dispatches to a level 7 gem tile, and then after the gem, the phase starts, the, your troops will come back, and you'll get 312,000 per tile you sent to. The problem with priming is the buffs. You need to figure out um, your speed collection bonuses, your collection speed buffs, uh, to figure out an accurate time. For instance, if I had a 10% speed buff on gem mining, but I sent out 43 hours, it'll come back in, in 39 hours, thus come back before the phase is started, and it won't count toward the phase. So, figure out your percentage speed buffs, um, uh, your percentage speed, speed buffs for your gems, uh, you can use this chart, say you have a 33% uh, speed buff on gem farming, so that you can look at the chart here, use the shorter time for 34%, and you're going to calculate 32.34 hours before the event starts for you to um, send out your gem farmers, prime the tiles, that way they will come back right after the phase starts, and if you pop a point card, can really yield some real good points, hit that 4.5 million mark, uh, real early on in the phase and then farm regular resources through the rest now a couple considerations here you want to make sure um, you have a 10% uh, resource collection speed and gem collection speed inside Alliance territory of course things like research check affects resources and gems resource spell obviously only affects resources magic tower magic uh, I believe only affects resources uh, heroes. Heroes are a big one. You want to make sure you add your heroes into your buff percentage to figure out the time because it's not going to be in your Lord stats. And then of course Lord skills. Particularly when you're priming a, a tile, you do not want to, you want to reskill before you send things out so you get an accurate buff percentage. You do not want to reskill while you're priming a tile because it'll change your collection speed and might screw you over and make them come back before the phase begins. So that's about it. Uh, feel free to use these uh, screenshots. But like I said, for priming, gems are your best bet. Find that level 7 tile. Find your buff percentage. Send it out at the appropriate time. And then during the phase, as long as you can stay on, uh, mining resources. Now, if you're going to be asleep for 8 hours, you might elect to send out to a gem, uh, gem tile, you know, if you're going to be out for 8 hours. Because as you can see, if you have a 100% uh, resource buff, uh, let's say a lumber buff, 
it's going to come back in 4.8 hours. A level 8 tile, lumber, it's going to come back in 4.8 hours. That leaves 4 hours where your troops are home not collecting. You don't want to do that. So while you're sleeping, they're not going to be on for an extended period of time. You might want to send out to gems as well. But gems for priming, resources during the phase, figure out your percentage, particularly when you're priming, and that's it. Now, if you want an explanation on how the math works out and how everything is calculated here, a more detailed explanation on what you're going to do and why all this math makes sense, feel free to watch the uh, longer video I have on this channel. But that's about it. I'm the Strategic Gamer, and I hope it helps.